Hi everyone, welcome to ETM Studio and this is your ETM. In today's video, we're going to be making these mini bunnies which are super tiny and super adorable. Just look at them. For this, I used 5 by Mikodon yarn with a 3mm crochet hook and 5mm size eyes. But you can use any kinds of yarn with this appropriate hook. After making these, you can turn them into keychains or bag charms or you can even make this as a present for your friends or for your beloved ones. If you are going to sell these tiny bellies, please make sure to give me full credit as the original designer and I will really appreciate that. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. See you guys again! Now let's make a magic ring. Put the yarn on your two fingers, then wrap it and put your thumb on the X and hold the yarn with the middle finger. And insert your hook and pull the second one to the front and twist it. Then yarn over and pull through the loop to make one chain. After that, remove the ring from your fingers and let's start from one. Now let's make single crochets into the magic ring. You will have to insert your hook into the ring and pull the yarn. Now you got two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through those two loops and you made one single crochet. To make the second one, please repeat the same step, yarn over and after that, pull through those two loops and you made the second single crochet. So to complete round one, you will have to make a total of six single crochets into the magic ring. After making 6 single crochets, pull the tail and the cycle will be closed. And now let's move on to round 2. Find the first single crochet that you made in round 1 and insert your hook like this. Then make the first single crochet. This is the starting stitch of round 2 so please put a stitch marker on that stitch. And for the pattern of round 2, we will have to make an increased stitch. So make the second one in the same stitch and this becomes an increased stitch. For round 2, you will have to make increased stitches for 6 times. So just make 2 single crochet each in every stitch. And when you reach the start, there will be a total of 12 single crochets. Now I'm at the start, so remove the stitch marker and let's start round 3. First, make the first single crochet, then put the stitch marker back again. And according to the pattern of round 3, we will make an increased stitch. So into the second stitch, make 2 single crochets together. Now I will make the second single crochet in the same stitch again. And you will have to repeat this pattern, so make one single crochet in the next stitch and after that, an increased stitch into another stitch. Please repeat this pattern for 6 times and there will be a total of 18 single crochets when you reach the start. Now let's continue round 4. In this round, we will just make one single crochet in each and every stitch, there will be no increases. But for the first stitch of round 4, please put the stitch marker like this. And after that, just continue making 18 single crochets for round 4 and also for round 5. For round 5, you will also have to make one single crochet in each and every stitch. After making round 5, you will get like this. There will be a stitch above the stitch marker. So that is the first stitch of round 5. And now to start round 6, make the first single crochet. Then remove the stitch marker and put it 
or that stitch for round six we will make a decrease stitch so insert your hook into the next stitch and pull the yarn insert your hook another stitch and again pull the yarn and now you've got three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops and you made a decrease stitch so to complete round six you will have to make one single crochet and a decrease stitch repeat this pattern for six times and there will be a total of 12 stitches You will get like this after making round 6 and to start round 7 remove the stitch marker make the first loop crochet then put the stitch marker on that stitch and let's start round 7 for round 7 you will have to make an increase stitch after one single crochet so into the second stitch make two single crochets together and after that repeat this pattern Make one single crochet and an increase stitch next. Repeat this for six times and there will be a total of 18 stitches. After making round seven, make the first stitch of round eight. And in the second stitch, make another single crochet. Then into the third stitch, make an increase stitch. So for round 8, you will have to make an increase stitch in every third stitch. Now I finished the increase stitch, so make one single crochet and one single crochet each in the next two stitches, then an increase stitch in the third stitch. Repeat this for 6 times and there will be a total of 24 single crochets. For round 9, 10, and 11, you will just have to make one single crochet in each and every stitch, one round after another, and in each round there will be a total of 24 single crochets. Into On the first stitch of round 9, please put a stitch marker like you put on the first stitch of round 4, then just repeat making single crochet in each and every stitch, and I will show you how to count the rounds. So your bending will look like this after making round 11 and to check the rounds there must be two stitches above the stitch marker and if there are two stitches then it means that you finished making round 11. And now let's start round 12 and this time we will make a tiny tail. So to make that get over and insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn and pull up. Then yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Now you've got two loops on your hook, so yarn over, insert your hook in same stitch, pull the yarn, then yarn over and pull through the first two loops, and repeat this until you got a total of five loops on your hook. Now I got four loops, and I will repeat this for one last time. And yarn over and pull through the first two loops and now there are five loops on my hook so yarn over and pull through all five loops and now you got a tiny tail for your bunny and make the first uh, make another single crochet in the next stitch then according to the pattern we will make a decrease stitch but before that move your stitch marker and put it on this tiny tail so this is the starting point of round 12 and now let's continue the pattern make a decrease stitch then after that we will repeat the pattern which is making single crochets for two times and then making a decrease stitch so what you have to do is make single, single crochet for two times and then a decrease stitch. Please repeat this for five times and when you reach the start there will be a total of 
18 stitches you will get like this and before moving another round if you are using safety eyes please insert them between round four and five like this insert your eyes like this on each side so here like this and then after that fill inside the body and let's move on to round 13 for round 13 you will just have to make one single crochet and a decrease stitch you will have to repeat this pattern for six times and when you reach the start there will be a total of 12 stitches don't forget to put a stitch marker on the first stitch so you will not lose the starting point now i finished making the first single crochet so make a decrease stitch next then make one single crochet and a decrease stitch please repeat this pattern until you reach the start now let's make the last round for the last round we will just make decrease stitches for six times so just make normal decrease stitches or if you find hard to make those decrease stitches skip one stitch and make a single crochet next and this is also a decrease stitch but you can use any stitches you want you will have to get a total of six stitches after making this round After making 6 decreases, leave a long tail for sewing and let's sew this round. So grab your tapestry needle and let's close this round. To close this, just go in and out of the stitches and when you reach the beginning stitch, pull the tail and the ring will be closed. So after closing the last round, bring your needle up to a stitch next to the eye and, and then go into a stitch beside the eye and come out from the other side and pull it hard and here insert a stitch next to the eye and again pull this really tight and the uh, rip it face will look like this then after that please hide the tail inside the body to hide the tail first secure the thread and then after that use the needle to hide it like this cut the excess yarn and now let's move on to making the ears so there are two types of ears if you want your bunny to be like this you will have to make long ears and if you want your bunny to look like this you will have to make short ears so first make a slip knot so this is how you make the slip knot insert your hook and adjust the size of the loop and let's make chains for long ears, you will have to make 7 chains. Yarn over and pull through and you make the first chain. Please repeat this until you got 7 chains. For short ears, you will have to make 5 chains. After that, skip the first stitch and make a half double crochet into the second. Yarn over and insert your hook into the second chain. Pull the yarn. Then yarn over and pull through those three loops and you made one half double crochet. Please make half double crochet in each stitch except the last chain. For long ears, you will have to make half double crochet for five times. But for the short ears, you will have to make half double crochets for three times.
And when you reach the last stitch, please make a, a slip stitch. Insert your hook, pull the yarn, and pull through, and you make a slip stitch. Then after that, leave a long tail for sewing. For long ears, you can either use glue or sew it on the bunny. But now I will show you how to sew the long ears. And after this, I will show you how to sew the short ears. This is the example of how I sew the short ears. If you want to add the nose, bring your pink yarn and sew the letter T or Y between the eyes. So now this tiny bunny tutorial is finished. If you want to make it cuter, you can either add tiny ribbons or bows on the rabbit's ears and make it cuter. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up and Click on the subscribe button so I can upload more in the future. And don't forget to follow me on social media. And with that being said, see you all in my next video. Bye bye!